Um, so I just want to go a little bit into how it works um, because it's one of these things, like anything, it does often help to know how it works. Um, so code is compiled into .wasm files by developers. Um, uh, so WebAssembly is an intermediate representation that's it's already been optimized by the compiler, but it's not for a specific CPU architecture. So it'll run on mobile or desktop or some CPU that hasn't been invented yet, uh, or some uh, uh, unusual class of CPU it could, could run on, uh, <laughs> like um, MIPS, um, without having to, um, you know, without having to recompile it. Um, and uh, there's a virtual machine um, that would run in your host, which would be a browser, Envoy, whatever application. Um, now, one of the things that uh, I want to talk about here is the way that the code uh, gets generated uh, when you're actually trying to run it. Um, now, there are different ways of doing it. Um, you can compile it ahead of time, um, and some companies are doing that, but this is kind of how uh, the Browser and browsers and Envoy do it at the moment. <clears throat> they stream and compile uh, the WebAssembly code, and um, and just to give you an idea of how fast that happens, it's about uh, sixty to ninety megabits a second. Um, now, I, I wanted to. I did some had a look up some numbers. The um, the Theoretical maximum speed for gigabit Ethernet is 115 uh, megabytes a second. Um, so, uh, you know, 60 to 90 is is actually still reasonably fast. It, it can be half the speed you can get it across the network. So, if you have an already compiled, uh, you know, uh, uh, native piece of code, it might take you the same amount of time getting it across the network as it does to uncompress your baseline. Uh, so as, as to co generate code for your baseline. Um, <clears throat> so uh, one of the things that is really important about WebAssembly is that memory access is restricted within a specific address range. So every uh, WebAssembly module has its own its own memory and it's contained within that. And that's really done uh, at a very low cost on 64-bit um, architectures. Um, the code execution starts using this baseline uh, uh, compiled code, which is which is not the maximum optimization. It's it's generated quickly, uh, but the code can execute pretty quickly given that that uh, it's it's streaming it off the, the network or whatever, and um, and it can start running it. Uh, the optimization uh, the optimized co compilation happens in the background. Um, and you know has the same property security properties, um, and then it it switches uh, to the fast code when, when faster faster code is ready. And I wanted to explain that just because um, you know people are sort of worried about you know jits and compilation time. And if you can sort of understand, it's it's designed to start up really quickly and run at the maximum speed at the same time. Um, I think that's important for people to understand about WebAssembly. Um, what else? Right, that is the end of my presentation.